Sunday, welcome back to my channel. This week we are diving into Korea. How I got my current job and how I prepare for my employment as a student. Hopefully some of the tips will be helpful to you guys. Good morning. Today I'm going to bring you to work and right now I'm still in my room. I'm trying to do some makeup because I do look quite tired. So this is the finished makeup look. I basically conceal this, add color, color and color and that's done. Basically spend like 10 minutes on it and we now have 10 more minutes until I have to rush out the door to get on the train. After 10 minutes, I'm going to pack my bag and Maybe get some breakfast going, I am not sure yet, but yeah. So you may be wondering why I'm rushing, even if it's like 9 already. Because usually people go to work at 9, right? <laughs> but um, since I'm working in a startup company, we are quite flexible with our time. So if I go to work at 10, which I choose to, um, I would um, come back at 6. So I graduated from Queensland University of Technology here in Brisbane um, with a Bachelor in Business majoring in Marketing. Hi, Kanla. <laughs> Right now, I'm working in a startup company called Travel by Bit, and we are trying to open up Australia to cryptocurrency tourism. Um, to simplify, that means we are helping businesses accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and we help travelers travel with Bitcoin as well. My job requires me to do a little bit of everything because we are a startup company, we have a very small and tight team. The biggest benefit of working in a startup is that I get to see everything built from scratch which is really helpful for my learning journey as a um, graduate. For day to day, I'm in charge of managing two social media channels, which is Instagram and YouTube. I'm also involved with website building, graphic design, and some email marketing as well. I'm also the camera person in the team, and I always held a camera and make videos, and that is kind of my thing. I understand job hunting and career planning can be really intimidating at first because um, as a student, I was really confused about how the real world works. So hopefully some of the strategy I share with you today will help you get started um, with your career planning. First of all, I want to say that it is totally normal that it takes time to find a job that you actually like. Um, I'm really grateful for my current position. Um, I actually enjoy doing a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, if you're still in uni, use all of the resources that is available to you. In my last semester of studying in QUT, I was really panicking about my um, employment so I basically signed up to every single program that I can get my hands on. First of all, I volunteered, which is um, the best way um, to get some experience while you are still in uni. I signed up for International Student um, Volunteer Initiative. Um, it is specifically for students who are from overseas to um, get some work experience. I was volunteering with a non-profit organization called Surf Life Saving. So what we did was um, we were kind of the research assistant but um, other than that we kind of move on to event planning, human resources management and I also got to work on a video um, that is made with Powtoon. Um, it's an animated video. I really enjoy making that. It was a really good experience to meet um, some like-minded um, proactive students who also want to get some work exposure. Second of all, I joined a mentoring program and I met my mentor who is working in, a, in the digital marketing field which helps me a lot. Um, 
I basically asked him question um, in our coffee date. Um, we would go for coffee and talked about my career planning, my um, strategy of getting my first job, my internship, and um, basically having someone um, keeping you accountable of what you should do. Number three, network as much as possible. I know it's not easy to put yourself out there and um, talk to strangers. Um, it wasn't easy for me as well. Um, I was very socially awkward in situation where everybody is like talking to someone. If you are studying QUT, I totally recommend the Business Advantage program where they have a lot of workshops talking about um, interview skills, communication, job hunting skills, um, all of the good stuff um, and it's all free. You just have to sign up and be there. The fourth thing I want to talk about is internship. Actually, my one and only internship is with my current company, so I don't have a lot of experience in terms of internship. But the internship is the best, the second best way to gain some experience while trying out different positions. Um, so my internship with my current company was about three months, and. Um, I was working there trying a lot of different new things and learning about the company, about cryptocurrencies, about the industry and it was a really really fun experience and how I actually got the internship position was quite funny um, I didn't even show them my CV I just showed them my LinkedIn account and my YouTube channel actually um, they were looking for somebody who can make cool videos and I thought I can do that so I was like Hey, do you guys want to check out my YouTube channel? And then, um, magically, I just got into the company and it led me to my full-time position right now. Um, so, which brings me to the next point is having um, your LinkedIn very professional. And your LinkedIn is basically your online CV where you can showcase your personality and your experiences and the cool stuff that you have done while you are in uni. And it's also a very good way to connect with professional um, acquaintances and friends and um, actually just people from all over the world actually are using LinkedIn to show their career interests. The final point I want to make is actually develop a hobby that can help your future career or help, um, help you get to your dream job. Um, I'm not sure what my dream job is yet but um, one of the main reasons why I really like this position is that I get to work on videos and because we are also kind of in the travel industry, I get to um, go on trips sometimes, maybe in the future, um, which is really cool. Um, I feel like um, photography, videos and travel is some of my biggest um, element that I wanted to get in my dream job. That's why developing a hobby that relates to your future position will be really helpful. It doesn't have to be YouTube. If you want to open a cafe someday, you have to learn how to make coffee, right? So if you wanted to, for example, make video for a living, you have to keep making videos. So um, you get the point. So basically just work on what you love until you get there. And on the way, you just have fun and then meet a lot of people and continue developing your skills. If I can go back to my 18 year old self, I would actually tell her that it is okay to not know what you want to do. Um, but do not make choices out of fear and do not be pushed by the world. Do not be convinced that you're not good enough at um, whatever you're doing and just keep on doing it and we'll see how it goes. For those of you out there who are graduating soon, I wish you all the best of luck and to those of you who started your first job or is starting in your career path, um, we are all in the same boat and I wish what you are working on um, satisfy you and give you a sense of achievement. A career doesn't define who you are, a job doesn't define who you are, um, a person can love a million things and work on a million things at the same time. That is why I am working on YouTube. Um, I love making videos and I hope I will see you guys next Sunday and tune in for another video.